the 10 best safe and reliable used cars for teen drivers under $10,000. When picking out a car for a new teen driver, it's essential to get all the latest safety gear, but for most families, it's unrealistic to buy their teenager a brand new car. So how do you get the most critical safety features without breaking the bank? Here's what to look for. Electronic stability control. The most important thing is electronic stability control, which has proven to be statistically the most effective safety advancement in cars since seatbelts. ESC helps teen drivers keep their cars on the road in emergency situations, and staying on the road goes a long way to keeping the car from rolling over, spinning into a tree, or hitting a telephone pole. A car with ESC will also have anti-lock brakes and probably traction control since they require all the same hardware components. ESC became mandatory in 2012, but most cars began to include it earlier as standard equipment. Side curtain airbags. It's important to find a car with side curtain airbags. Since there's much less space between the edge of the car and passengers in a side collision than in front or back, side airbags form a critical buffer. Curtain airbags, which cover the side windows, can also help keep passengers inside during an accident, a critical safety benefit. Front airbags. Any car with side curtain airbags and ESC will also have front airbags, which became mandatory in 1999. But you shouldn't have to go back that far to find an affordable used car. The cars on this list also have to handle well in emergency maneuvers, have good stopping distances on factory tires, and not be too slow nor too fast. Since weight and size also play a crucial role in safety, I recommend midsize or larger sedans. Sedans are better than SUVs because their lower center of gravity gives them better underlying stability, even in this age of ESC. Here's my top 10 suggestions for the safest used cars for teen drivers. The Chevrolet Malibu. The midsize Malibu is comfortable, quiet, and well-finished inside with an absorbent ride and comfortable seats, especially if you get the leather. Handling feels responsive with light and precise steering. There's plenty of elbow room inside the stylish, nicely detailed interior. Both the pedals and the steering wheel adjust for reach, which could make the Malibu an especially easy fit for taller or shorter teens. The four-cylinder engine is quiet, refined, and responsive, plus it gets a pretty good 25 MPG overall. The Ford Focus. The small fork Focus sedan is agile and fun to drive with an upright seating position that may help teens plan ahead by giving them a good view down the road. The optional sync system gives hands-free phone connectivity but without the fussy and distracting My Ford Touch control system that came later. An optional manual transmission makes this a good car to train your kid to drive stick, and the reward for do-it-yourself shifting is a respectful 29 MPG overall. The Ford Fusion. The midsize Fusion offers responsive handling and a supple ride along with sync Bluetooth connectivity and voice commands. Controls are fairly simple, although they could be better placed. Drivers will find plenty of room inside along with comfortable seats. The four-cylinder is backed by a smooth, smart-shifting six-speed automatic transmission, but the engine can sound noisy when accelerating. A hybrid version is available, though it's significantly more expensive. The Hyundai Sonata, a comfortable, quiet, and almost luxurious midsize sedan, the 2006 through 2010 Sonata has a supple ride quality, soft seats, and simple controls. Handling is a bit numb, but it's secure enough. Freshened for 2009, the four-cylinder engine and five-speed automatic deliver quiet acceleration with very good gas mileage at 26 mpg overall. The 2011 has swoopy, coupe-like body styling, but rear seat room and visibility remain, eh, it's questionable, it's tolerable. 
The new four-cylinder engine racked up impressive fuel economy of 27 mpg. The Kia Soul, a functional little box on wheels, this, the Kia Soul gets great mileage and offers all the features your kid wants with all the safety features you do. Kia's Uvo connection system will play songs from your smartphone as well as enable hands-free calling. The powertrain feels responsive enough, but the engine is loud and the ride skews to the hard side. The Mazda 3. The Mazda 3 is safe, fuel-efficient, and responsive to drive. You can get leather, navigation, and seat heaters, as well as at least rudimentary Bluetooth phone pairing. For 2012, the 3 offered Mazda's Skyactiv engine and transmission, which boosted fuel economy to an impressive 32 mpg. The Mazda 6. One of the sportier midsize sedans on the market, the Mazda 6 has a supple and controlled ride with sharp steering and nimble handling. Most controls are very simple and a long seat cushion and telescoping steering wheel make the 6 a perfect fit for tall teens and an optional blind spot monitoring system could be a boon to young drivers. The Toyota RAV4. The RAV4 is a roomy, reliable SUV that rides well, gets great gas mileage for an SUV, and has responsive and secure handling. Bluetooth hands-free phone pairing is available, as is all-wheel drive. Leather seats are significantly more comfortable. Skip the optional third-row seats, since statistics show accident rates rise dramatically with more teens in the car. The Volkswagen Jetta. A sophisticated small car, the Jetta handles enthusiastically and rides well. It has comfortable seats for the long haul with plenty of room in the back and a giant trunk. The base five-cylinder engine has plenty of power, but it sounds coarse and doesn't get great fuel economy. A diesel version can get 34 mpg overall and reach nearly 50 mpg on the highway. The Volkswagen Rabbit slash Golf. The Rabbit was the hatchback version of the Jetta. It has a responsive but gruff and inefficient 2.5 liter five cylinder engine. The handling is agile and secure and the ride fairly comfortable. The Golf name returned with the impressive 2010 redesign. Interior quality improved and the car had responsive handling, supportive front seats, and a good ride. If you found this video content helpful, please subscribe, like, and share.